Hey guys, Brit Queen here. This is one of the new Hobbit sets. It's based off the upcoming movie, The Desolation of Smog, which I think is going to be a really cool movie, by the way. This one is set number 79011, Dol Guldur Ambush. It has 217 pieces, and this set costs only about $20. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So here are your minifigures for this set. There are three of them, as you can see. And uh, let's go ahead and start with what I think is the most awesome one. And that is Bjorn here. Now, a lot of you probably wondered the same thing that I saw a lot of people talking about on Eurobricks. And that was about this headpiece right here. Is it two separate pieces with the head and the hair? Or is it all one piece? So, to answer your question, let me show you. It is all one piece. So there's the body. And that is the head and hair all in one piece. Which I think is kind of unusual. I would have th I really thought that they would make it separate. So I I don't know if I like that or not. I, I really don't think I do because uh, I like to have it separate so you can use it for different things. Um, but this way, this is what you get. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'll go ahead and show you the body while I don't have the hair on there. But anyway, I mean, it's not a bad figure by any means. I just thought that was going to be two separate pieces. I do like the printing um, on the, the torso and the legs and all with the belt coming down. I think that is pretty cool. He's got his axe with him. So that's what he looks like. So that's Bjorn. And next we have two of these very interesting orcs. One of them has armor and one of them does not. And here's the first one. You can see this one does have the armor on. And you can see the cool ears they gave them with these hair pieces. I kind of like that. I think it's cool. I also really like the armor piece. Um, also, if anyone knows, feel free to tell me if I put the armor on backwards. I wasn't sure if this point was supposed to go towards the back or not. It looked to me in the manual like this is how it's supposed to go, so that's how I did it. But I'm just not sure on that, so if anybody knows, feel free to comment and tell me. Um, I think the printing on him is really cool, and it's pretty much the exact same figure um, with a different weapon as this one. And obviously no armor on this one. But the figures are very cool. I really like the printing. All the bones and things. But anyway, those are the three figures that come with this set. Here's the full set now. And I do have the minifigures standing there. Um, which, these are the same minifigures I just showed you. Um, we also have a catapult here now. And you do have an extra little... I guess it's supposed to be like a rock or a stone or something. Um, to fling, uh, but you have two separate catapults on this. You can push them individually, and I mean, you guys know how a catapult works. You can push down right there, to hold it, and then just pop right here, and you can attack with it. And I like that you have an extra one in case you lose one. So that's kind of cool. Also, I like the little wheels on here. It's pretty nice. And you can also make a minifigure hold that right there so they can actually push the catapult to where it needs to be. So that I think that's kind of a cool idea. It's kind of interesting. But I'm going to set the catapult back here so I can show you this. Now first, this, well, besides knocking over the figures, let me move them a little bit further back this time. If you notice these right here, you can actually connect this set to the bigger set that you can get in this line. And I'll actually show you on the box where it shows you how to do that. Down, this is the bottom of the back of the box that this set comes in. As you can see, you can put them together like that and have it like that. And if you guys want me to put the two together after I review the bigger one, let me know and I can do a video for that. Uh, but I did want to point that out, that those two fit together. Because I think I always think it's cool whenever they make sets that fit together. I, I've always been a fan of that. Um, even back to when they did that for Harry Potter. Um, 
two years worth of castles and then actually further on. Anyway, um, so this set is actually pretty cool. You've got a hidden flick fire missile here on the side so you can fold this out and then you've got this right here is actually a flick fire and I'm not going to flick it too hard because I don't want to lose it but in case you do lose it they give you an extra. So you have two even though there's only actually one spot for it. That way, say you shoot one and you lose one, like we do so often, you do get an extra, which I love. I absolutely love that. I think that was a really thoughtful thing to do. Um, it seems like they've started thinking a little bit more about, you know, how people play with these sets uh, to me. I love the decoration on the entrance. I think that's very, very cool. And also, I think a lot of you guys are going to love this. Say you have like a an orc trying to come in right here. Well, that doesn't quite reach him. Maybe you have to set it on the second one. Um, or the second thing there. You have an orc trying to come in. You can knock him out of the way with this. So, you've got two different ones here actually. And the way they work is just by turning this right here. You've got this one, which actually it's turned a little bit. But, this first one here. And then you've also got this one on this side to use, which is very cool. I, I really like that. So, And you can do them both, and they fit together like that, which is really handy. But So that's what it looks like from the top view. You can kind of see it a little bit better that way. And there's that one. But I think that's, that's actually a really cool idea. I, I like that you can just totally knock them out with that. And... Uh, you know, they, it can't quite reach the first step, but if you set them on this second step, which I'm having trouble doing, you can set them right there. He can be knocked down with either of these, which is really cool. Um, I always like it when they include stuff like that. Um, you've also got some nice red, dark red leaves up here, and then there's like some fire down there. But so that is the whole set, and I think it's very much worth the $20. Oh, there is one more thing, actually. You get these two little, you know, skeleton head pieces, um, skulls that are just kind of, it just kind of adds to the scene is all. Uh, there's no specific place to put them or anything. Uh, but I think it's a nice little addition just to kind of add to the scene, like I said. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to each of my channels if you haven't already. Thanks, guys.